one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Go Falcon, go Transporter 15. Vehicles pitching down range. MOD chamber pressures are nominal. At T plus 31 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We're, curr we're currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress Power on the vehicle. Nominal. Max Q is reached when the air density of the atmosphere decreases faster than the increasing speed of the rocket. Mach 1. Max Q. And there's the call out for Max Q. Merlin engines are back at full power and we're out of the throttle bucket. From here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, resulting in less loads on Falcon 9. So coming up next, we'll have several events happening in quick succession, starting with Miko, followed by stage separation, and I'm sec back, chill. second engine start, or SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage. Then the MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. This engine burn, lasting several minutes, will propel the second stage and our payloads to orbit. After that, the fairing will jettison from the second stage, as it's no longer needed to protect the payloads once we're in space. Nominal trajectory. We should be hearing the first of these callouts in about 10 seconds from now.